And by the way, the penalty for breaching this section is up to $50,000 in fines and incredibly up to five years in prison. I've seen rapists, I've actually been in court, and I've seen rapists sentenced in this country to six months in prison. But if you break this election rule and say a mean thing about a politician, you could get five years in prison. All right, let me read it line by line now. 91.1, no person or entity shall, with the intention of affecting the results of an election, make or publish during the election period. Okay, fairly obvious. This means anyone, including other political candidates, is covered by the law, including journalists, including you on Facebook. When you write something on Facebook and click OK or publish, that means the definition of publishing, even if you just publish it to your friend. So this law targets you. Of course it does, because you're not already under the control of Trudeau. You don't work for the CBC. You're not at one of the bailout newspapers. So this is to shut you up, because you're the last person who isn't gagged. OK, I'll keep on. <clears throat> a, a false statement that a candidate, a prospective candidate, the leader of a political party, or a public figure associated with a political party has committed an offense. OK, so this protects just the political party class. It's incredible, really. Candidates or prospective candidates as in someone who might become a candidate? What does that mean? A public figure associated with the political party? What does that mean? If someone is a member of a party, just a member, are they covered? If they're a former member? I mean, take, for example, Kim Campbell, the nutty former prime minister who just does nothing all day, apparently, but publish insane tweets against Donald Trump. Oh, and she's also in charge of vetting Supreme Court judges for Trudeau. But is she associated with the party? Or how about that old battle axe Sheila Copps, who is a full-time internet troll, just nuts these days. Does she get this special legal protection now because she's associated with the party? What a weird law. To give immunity from criticism, not only just to el the elite political class, but just to political parties and their friends. I'll read... Uh, um, more than, uh, uh, of the law. It says, a person has, I'm quoting now, committed an offense, under, if it's an offense to say a person has committed an offense under an act of parliament or a regulation made under such an act or under an act of the legislature of a province or a regulation made under such an act or has been charged with or is under investigation for such an offense. That covers almost anything. A regulation in a provincial law Maybe you're under investigation. If you say any of these things, you're in jeopardy of five years in prison. Well, look, right now, if someone slanders you and says you've committed a crime or something, you can sue them now, whether you're a politician, a prince, or a pauper. The law is called defamation law. That's something you have to hire your own lawyer for and go to court and convince the judge, a real judge, in a real court. And there are defenses, fair comment, truth, things like that. At the end of the day, if you're wrong, the person you sued, they get costs from you. But if you didn't really say anything that hurtful, and not many people saw the defamation, you might only get a few bucks in damages. I've seen damages as low as a dollar, not 50 grand, and not prison time. There's no prison time for saying something mean now. I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I believe Justin Trudeau has committed criminal obstruction of justice in regards to the SNC-Lavalin case, and probably in the case of Vice Admiral Norman too. Let me be crystal clear. I believe Justin Trudeau broke the criminal code. Can I get any clearer than that? In the one case, he tried to get the prosecution to drop the case against the guilty party, SNC-Lavalin. In the other case, he tried to get a false prosecution. He tried to frame an innocent man. I, I think they're both crimes. I think Trudeau himself broke the law, the criminal law. Maybe other criminal laws, too. We know for a fact that he broke the law against illegal drugs. He boasts about using drugs long before he legalized marijuana. If Trudeau wants to sue me for saying those things, he can. But if he does, I'll get to cross-examine him and get access to his records touching on those matters. He, that's why he won't sue. But not so under this new fake news law. His buddies at Elections Canada can go after me on the public dime with investigators, and I don't get to cross-examine Trudeau or get to see his records. He's delegating his political enforcement to a political office paid for with taxpayers' money, and we know they're extremely partisan at Elections Canada. A conservative MP donated too much to his campaign or something like that. He gets handcuffed and sent to prison. SNC-Lavalin made 100 grand in illegal contributions to the Liberals again and again, similar to the Del Mastro story, and they get let off the hook for free in secret. Yeah, I'm not trusting those crooks. Oops, going to send me to prison for saying that too? 
That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.